Hey, welcome! Welcome to my Lego room. I hope <laughs> I mean, this has been look, this has been my most requested video of all time, and I've just been, I don't know about look, this room is very rarely a nice looking room because it just I don't I think it can only be as nice as it currently is. It's a it's a converted two-car garage, so it's a good amount of space, but it's dark, it's dingy, and it's basically just a functional work area and, you know, play area for me, for my Lego, but I am lucky to have this space. But just outside that very dirty window there is our current two-car garage. And, yeah, it's never, ever going to be home beautiful because it's just not an area that's capable of being so, but it is functional. And I have just vacuumed, which is why we're doing this video now. In fact, there is a piece of Lego in that vacuum cleaner, which I'm gonna have to rescue later on. No Lego left behind. So yes, I'll get that. But before I do that, I will show you my room, my Lego room tour. This is kind of, well, this is very exciting because it's actually tidy. It is never tidy and I've just spent a very long time tidying it. I'm not going to talk today how about how I sort my Lego very much, but I will just talk a little bit. Like these are my big containers, the containers that I have lots of colors in. And if I've got a lot of one color, I've actually separated it into bricks and plates. So I've got two separate, so it's a bit easier to find stuff. So at the moment I've got, uh, you know, white, black, brown, and tan and gray. I've got lots of those colors. So I've got double, <laughs> doubly stacked containers of those. Down here's my, yeah, that still needs to be sorted and pulled apart, my least favorite job. But it can be very cathartic sorting Lego and pulling it apart. My drawers are full of fabulously fun sorted stuff. So here I've got a whole heap of hair pieces. These are long ones. In here are the short ones. And there's a magnet that's fallen down from my little whiteboard up above. I'll put that up again later. And in the drawers, sorted stuff. So hat with hair, uh, capes, uh, and oh look see I mean because I've only just resorted things I've actually got some empty space which I didn't have before. Costumes here, some stickers like leftover sticker pieces and the big vinyl pieces and stuff that I've made. Still there's dragon wings in here. The big things. Uh, yeah stickers. There's <laughs> this. Um, look if I were to go it doesn't look fantastic but if I were to go looking I would know where to find those. And then we've got some tiles in different sizes, clips and yeah these drawers are when my little drawers on my table get too much for them and they then progress to a big drawer. <laughs> so I do have a system. These are my pieces of ready-made furniture just here for inspiration. I've only just set this up. It used to be all tumbled in on top of the drawers on my desk. So this is my little inspiration area and this is this is the remnants of my metal smithing table which is where I cut up mini dolls now and paint them. I've got extra light and my some of my tools left over from my metal smithing days. So it's useful actually useful skills to transfer over the very very necessary lip balm. I have lip balm stashed everywhere and these are my small piece sorted drawers and drawers that I use a lot of these colors and these shapes. So we've got brown, like a whole drawer thingy of brown, a whole drawer thingy of white, a whole section of tan and a whole, like a really big one of gray. And then the other drawers are shapes. Like I've sorted them as per their shapes, not their colors. Like I said, this is confusing. I could go, I, I will go into this in more detail, how I sort my Lego in future, if you want. Just let me know in the comments and I will try to explain my really probably quite harebrained system. It works for me though. And over here, more of these drawers. So these are drawers with accessories and mini doll parts and oh, so much stuff. So this is the Lego Friends container. I have the current girls at the back, some of them still in their outfits. And then I have their current heads here and then their OG heads, the old style heads in a container in front. This is my tray of unsorted accessories. So I have little containers with clip clock lids, which I've shown in a video before of little accessories, but uh, this is the <laughs> ones I haven't made into there yet. This is this is got a whole heap of the princesses and the Disney princess line in here and the DC superhero girls. It's a look, yeah. And this <laughs> it's a system. I swear it's a system that I that works for me. And on this trail here I have got just a whole lot of colored drawers so they're easily accessible. The overflow of that goes over into the big containers. Here same sort of thing but we've also got some of the 
accessories that I have a lot of all bundled in together. Some of them I put in bags, some of them I put in little boxes. These are some of the furniture pieces that I just, I keep them for inspiration. These are the other characters, the female characters generally uh, from Lego Friends and the micro dolls are in here, but the males, I keep them here and they're mixed in with the Disney princes as well and the Disney princess accessories I've kind of tumbled at the front there and the elves accessories too. The elves characters I have are at the back and yeah elves goblins and stuff like that and the little bats there in the front. My gosh this is a drawer full of printed and stickered pieces which is just getting so big now that I don't quite know how to how to find things in this section but they're just so good I want to be able to find them when I'm doing my mods or my mocks like my own creations this uh, is the window <laughs> the window drawer yet I'm seeing some I don't quite know how to identify what a window is or what a like that's like a panel with a window in it this one here should probably be in my door container so though it's really just a big open yeah I'm struggling so let's put that in my drawer in my door container this is my door container and oh, it's fallen out it obviously feels as though I haven't sorted it correctly <laughs> let me get that <laughs> put that away again you stand here with the doors at the moment until I can figure out how I should be doing this. What else we got? So underneath the windows I've got a whole heap of cupboard and chair pieces and this one's got fences and ladders and steps. <laughs> Just ignore the labels on these, they're so wrong now. I, I haven't kept them updated. So yeah, this is my Disney princesses on the top. This drawer, you still don't have anything in it yet. I've got an unclaimed drawer. This is the body parts. So torsos, we've got so many different skin tones now too. I'm finding it hard, but I'll figure this out as we go along. These are my smaller animals, smaller animal drawers. The stingray is probably a bit big to be in there, but it's so cute. And even things like the Minecraft animals, I just keep them built up because they're still animals. And I, well, are they? Mm. Yeah, no, they are. Technically, they're animals. A drawer full of all the foliage, though I do have a big container of that over here now too because there was too much for it to fit in the drawer. So when I fill the drawer up, I then fill the container up and... I don't know that it's the best system, but it works for me because I like having all this stuff really close by when I'm sorting or if I just need to grab one single piece out. And yes, yeah, studs. Oh my gosh, so many little dotties. Look at them. It's so cathartic, like running your fingers through them <laughs> like a tiny germy ball pit. Mm, but it's only my germs, so that's okay. And then yeah, no studs are allowed to be on the floor. Stepping on those is not fun. Okay, so there are my drawers. And then we've got more over here, including the shoe rack for the family because this is our main entryway into the house so people like to dump all their stuff on my flat surfaces like this my big empty flat surface but I just keep removing it and putting in other rooms to the house so container full of base plates or the bigger plates God, the, I, I just didn't realize how many I had <laughs> until I started putting them all in one box down here is these are the things that I don't tend to use so much like weapons and just those weird random stuff that comes with I don't know, the more violent sets, which I don't have a lot of. I do have a whole container there of wheels. Got a container here of brick separators, which is handy to keep them close by. And these are then my overflow packages. These are more than, they're sorted into shape, but they're more than I can fit into the little drawers above my desk. So yeah, like I said, I don't know if this is making any sense. So I actually have a whole container there of overflow gray sorted pieces and overflow white sorted pieces as well. Okay, my goodness, this is where I do all my video recording. It's a teeny tiny workspace. I wish I had a bigger table, but you know, I work with what I have the space for. <laughs> is where we get our internet into the house. But I've got boxes here full of minifigures, which I don't tend to touch. I need to put this up on the wall again. I've just cleaned that off. But yeah, the minifigures boxes, I I don't I I, I don't want to sell these on yet because I'm not sure. I, not sure whether I will have a use for them yet, but because I love mini dolls, these guys are all contained away, safely put away for future. And this is a, the bo a bottle of isopropyl alcohol for cleaning off sticky bits and all, st yeah, fantastic for cleaning off old stickers. <laughs> it's, where, it's my microphone with a sock on it as a pop protector. <laughs> so high tech. 
like so I'm just all of the high tech. Uh, my laptop for editing, another set of drawers of sorted shape things. So these are sorted by shape, not by color. And then on this side is where I store all my build sets and my to be built sets for the future. So this box has got stuff for me still to be building. I'm just running out of, I'm out of friend sets. That I'm, I'm <laughs> we had so many less friend sets, fewer friend sets this year than we have in the past. But um, should I build the Death Star compactor <laughs> on this channel? I don't know. You let me know. But this set, I just wanted to mention, I actually bought this on Super Throw It because I want this hairpiece, like Mrs. Marvel's hairpiece. That was the only reason I bought this, and I haven't actually cracked it open to get the hairpiece yet because I'm hoping it'll come in another set. And then, I, yeah, I. These are what's hap this is what happens when you go out with a credit card and you do impulsive purchases, which isn't always the best of ideas. Okay, on the top I've got a big box here of the big Lego mold pieces that don't get used very much, like big ship hulls and cupcakes and stuff like that. A box full of the Lego Friends cubes, don't know quite what to do with them now, and slides and roller coaster ride, uh, no, roller coaster tracks <laughs> all up here. I put them up there because I don't need them all the time, so they're, but they're really easy to access. And I only just regained these front shelves for my own use because they were filled with just family rubble. <laughs> but now I get to put my Lego rubble on them, but we still have all the old DVDs <laughs> up on the top here. Who uses your DVDs anymore? But I just can't bear to part with them. I mean, we've got some really good classics up here, like Anna Green Gables. I really want to watch Anna Green Gables now. But anyway, all right, so what else are we looking at? Some empty shelves, which is very exciting. I'm going to fill them soon. Got mini figures still to resell because I bought whole boxes during COVID because I couldn't go out and feel them. So I need to sell on those excess ones. And these are, these are sets, like old sets, which I actually bought as a bulk buy, a secondhand bulk buy. And I, I don't know what to do with them yet, but they are labeled so nicely. I haven't foraged in them for parts, but this is Emma's studio, Emma's photo studio. So lots and lots of really old nostalgic sets. Heart Lake gift shop this is cool now hold on that's the gift van i think the gift shop is actually yeah the gift the heart like party shop is here too and I've, yeah so yes i will find things to do with that some more cubes which i bought multiples of to get different animals but the rest of the parts are all still in there i've got to sell them on as well and up here are some of my favorite mixels which i just couldn't bear to break down either so here is what i have on display they're not displayed very nicely because i'm still redoing them that. There's, I've had so, so long of everything just being smooshed in because I had less space. So now I'm going to start unsmushing everything and laying it out a little bit better so that I can see it all. But yeah, I do have a good amount of space, but I do have a lot of Lego. <laughs> Surprise! I've been doing this for a few years. So yes, there's a lot of sorting that needs to go in. <laughs> so go on down here and a lot of displaying potential, which I haven't actually activated yet. Oh, and at the back here, this might be interesting. I don't know whether it's interesting. I, uh, yeah, I'm using a pot plant, plant stand as these, when I take stuff off a shelf, I've just put it on there for a temporary, temporary shelf. But if I move that out of the way behind this table, which is a fold down table, which I can just get out and use when I need a nice big table to do some work on, are my boxes of instruction books. I don't even know what to do with them, but I have so many, so many. This is all the sets I have built, the instruction books for them, plus extra storage boxes. As you can see, they're all Systema brand because it works so nicely and they all stack into each other and they're just really nice boxes. I really like them. So that's, that's the, that's the, if you're going to store stuff, choose one brand so that everything stacks into itself. I mean, that's if you can afford to do that. Otherwise, just use whatever you can find. Keep stuff tidy. Look, I've even got the pink barn still built. You guys let me know in the top 10 Lego Friends sets that that's one of your favorites still. So I've still got to build. And the balloon, the picnic area, that was one of my nostalgic favorites too that didn't make it onto the list. This is, and the lighthouse, the old lighthouse. And I've actually stolen stuff off the new hotel, which just kind of shows you that I don't love it as much as the old one. And the old food market. These are, these are like the overflow sets of my my favorites that you why is Mr. Banana Man there? I think I think my son might have been in here and moved some stuff around. Oh my goodness me. Okay. It's a lot of stuff here. I'm really, really sorry for the state of it. I'm sure you would like a home beautiful Instagrammable ready. 
display, but there's just not me. I it, This needs to be functional. It's not just for looking at. And it's, I don't even have the, the space. <laughs> it would need to be entirely cleaned out and painted down. And I need new flooring because the flooring is actually just painted concrete. So it's really rough. So anything sticky that gets on it doesn't clean off very well and now I've just got these black spots on the floor. But anyway, you know, it's a nice area. It's a big space and it's it works for me. So there you go. This is, <laughs> well that was, and this will remain, my room. My Lego room for doing all of the things that I need to do for the channel and for my Lego love, for my love of a hobby. <laughs> so, let me know if you would like to see more about the insides of my mind and how I sort these pieces when I break them down. Oh, when I break down the sets. And yeah, everybody has their own system, but this system's working for me at the moment. It's, I'm sure there are, there are more logical ways to go about sorting stuff. But yeah, this is the way I do it at the moment. I hope you enjoyed my room tour. It's never going to look this clean and free of dead ants and daddy long legs again but I'll enjoy it till they start to build up again and then I'll have to vacuum again. It's a vicious cycle. Okay, I'll see you with another video really soon. <laughs> Bye.